what we're going to take a look at today is a fantastic springtime mushroom. It's just down here and it's going around in a big circle. It's called St. George's and it grows around St. George's Day. Um, if we take a look at it from an ID point of view, we've got the mushroom here. It's pale white. As it gets older, it does sometimes come a bit more tan. If it rains loads, it overhydrates and becomes a bit more buff in colour. The cap is round. About five centimetres is the average you'll find it in size. It can grow to 10. Uh, obviously, when it's smaller, more of a button, it'll be between one and two centimetres. Um, pale white in colour. The edge of the cap typically has an inrolled margin. So you can see the edge here is rolling in on itself. And then the gills are crowded and pale white to cream. Um, they're classed as being sinuate. So that means that the gill comes down from the cap goes back up a little bit and then comes down again when it connects to the stem. And the easiest way to tell that is if we cut it in half and we look across that cross section, we can see the gill there and we can see whether it's sinuate. Easiest to um, check against the book for what all the different gill structures mean. The stem you can see here is full uh, and firm. It's not hollow and it's pale white throughout. Typically between two and five centimetres. The stem typically goes more bulbous, slightly more wide towards the base as well. And then if we give it a good smell, the smell is described as being mealy or smelling like um, damp flour or damp bread. It's quite distinct, one of the distinguishing features of it. How it grows, it likes to grow in open grasslands. I know I'm in a little bit of a woodland here, but we are just next to open grassland where it's been growing and it grows in concentric circles. So you can see we've got a line here coming down. It goes out down here through to the grass, through the open grassland, and will come and circle around me. And actually, when you find one little patch, even if you can't see any in a concentric circle, it's worth just wandering around a bit further in that same area to see if you can see any others growing. Here, this patch, I've potentially got up to five kilograms here, just because of how big this circle is, um, which is fantastic from a food point of view. You can quite often find this mushroom before it actually starts to fruit. So you'll see circles um, in grassland where the grass looks like it's growing a bit more green or slightly discoloured compared to the other grass and it'll be concentric circles. So it's worth looking around those areas um, for this mushroom. If we look at potential lookalikes, the um, deadly fibre cap is the main lookalike that you want to be wary of for this mushroom. Um, the key identification difference for that one is if you look at the gills, they're typically more pink in colour and they bruise pinkish. So if you run your knife through it or run your finger through it, they'll start to bruise pink. Um, they can also be found mainly in woodland edges, so this kind of area is somewhere we need to be wary of that one. From a food point of view, this mushroom can be used in any recipe that calls for standard store-bought mushrooms. I think it's really good. It has a really firm texture, fries up really well. It, to be honest, my favourite to do with this is either to have it with um, just garlic on toast, really nice, or if I make a really simple white sauce that's going to go with pasta, I'll put garlic through that and then have this through that as well. Although saying that, it's got really firm texture, so it can be put into stews, it can be roasted really nicely. It's one of those mushrooms that's like a really good all-round mushroom. It's worth noting on the flavour that sometimes that mealy, so that mealiness we get from the smell, some people don't enjoy eating that, um, so that just comes down to personal preference for you. So that's it, St George's mushroom, a really fantastic springtime mushroom and definitely one that's keep, keep your eyes out for in the fields and the grasslands.